Blackpool, the first seaside resort, set its stall out for the industrial working class. The first and also the biggest by a very long way. Its popularity and reputation were made in the later 19th century, when specific social and economical factors combined to bring it into the working class market, when other resorts around Britain's coast remained essentially upmarket and middle class. Blackpool was just a small town, uh, two, two small towns actually, Upper, upper Blackpool and Lower Blackpool, and uh, where there had been a steady trickle of visitors coming for 50 or 60 years, once the um, railway came, then that was a, caused a step change and thousands of visitors came, tens of thousands, and over the years that grew to millions. Um, the town grew and became so popular because of the industrial towns in the country being so uh, poverty-stricken, grime-ridden, that the people would literally go without food for days on end to save for their annual trip to the seaside, of which Blackpool was the most successful in providing them with that trip. And they were escaping from boredom, grime, uh, and often they would be living in very substandard housing, whereas they could come to Blackpool and they could live for a few days um, in the height of opulence or relative opulence from, from what they'd come from. So Blackpool was, uh, became a master in providing this accommodation along with the attractions to, um, to titillate their fancy. for its family attractions. However, towards the 1980s, it was also starting to attract a new crowd. This crowd would seem to transform Blackpool's image negatively, adding to its declining popularity. Uh, the flood of um, hen parties starts to hit the town. Stagnates too, but it seems to be mainly hen parties. And there was a lot of trouble caused by drunken members of these parties that caused the national press, the national media to pick up on stories and I think it's um, an undisputed fact that this did have a detrimental effect again on the numbers of visitors to Blackpool and about this point the numbers although the tourist department in the town would argue and did argue vehemently that um, my suggestion that the numbers have dropped from 17 to 20 million visitors, staying visitors a year, had dropped to between 8 and 9 million um, it is a fact, in my opinion, anyway, that that is what happened, and now it's probably half of that. Uh, and part of Blackpool's downfall, in my personal opinion, and the opinion of many others is, that as the world around it was changing and evolving, Blackpool was evolving and changing too slowly. In other words, it wasn't, um, it wasn't up to the mark and where local people, especially local traders, suggested that a certain attraction should come or a certain attraction should go, the city fathers were often slow to respond to that. And um, that whether you're building a new store, a new tower or a new kitchen extension for a lady, that you cannot have the omelette without breaking the eggs. And that's the case here. However, I think we might find uh, that too many eggs are being broken and too many omelets being made at one point. Instead of seemingly phasing the work over, say, a 10 or a 20 year period, they seem to be wanting to be doing everything overnight. 
and this is town this has turned the whole town centre uh, and the promenade into one gigantic building site and it must have a detrimental effect so there are several good signs on the horizon that I think that at last the penny has dropped we must do something serious to halt the decline in the town we can't ever take it back to what it was in the Victorian era or the post-war era and what we've got to do is take it forward into the future and make it, if not the best resort in the world, but certainly the best in Europe. I said when it was done, is that supposed to be me? You've properly mucked it up, the only thing I can see is my little stick of blank food.